this is the time when we all look forward to this particular item that is coming up because we have heard the principal talk so much about the family of St. Augustine. But we like to hear what the students are thinking about us. So let me invite Ms. Leah Charles to do the valedictorian. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Moderator, Representative of the Ministry of Education, Mr. Sambucharan, Distinguished Guest Speaker, Dr. Tiwari, Madam Principal, Ladies and Gentlemen, Fellow Graduates. We are gathered here today to honor a long-standing tradition of excellence and to express our deepest appreciation to all those who have helped us achieve our recent successes. We, the graduating class of 1996, are filled with memories of the past and aspirations for the future. We are honored and grateful to have had the opportunity to grace these hallowed boards and to reach for the stars, no matter what difficulties stood in our path. Every Trinidadian knows how to make, or at least how to eat, a good pilau. When you want to make a sweet pilau, you must start with the key ingredients, rice, pigeon peas, chicken, and seasoning. But the ingredients cannot stand alone. They must be combined in the right amounts and cooked all together to make the pilau just right. When we first entered this school, we were all like ingredients for a pilau, each one different from the other, but all necessary for a good cook. Initially, we were bewildered to find ourselves thrown in a big pot we would soon call school and found it hard to mix and mingle. However, within a matter of days, we realized we were all in the same predicament. Our new school seemed large, unfamiliar, and, to some of us, unfriendly. But, in time, we adjusted to the surroundings and tried our best to figure out what our specific purposes were. The chief cooks we learned were members of our dedicated administration who carefully and painstakingly monitored our progress. By the time we had sized each other up, and rice was willing to like chicken, and chicken was willing to like peas, we bubbled together, trying our best to contribute what we could to the pot. As time went by, each one of us developed our own unique flavor. We displayed enormous potential in both academics and extracurricular activities. From Form 1, we became part of a legacy which we are instrumental in upholding even today. And we're modest too. <laughs> we almost set the school ablaze, literally and figuratively. Among us, we have our own resident, Victrix Ludorum whose long-legged physique instilled great fear in the hearts of her opponents. One of our number also achieved international ranking in the tennis arena. Our prowess also became evident in the swimming pool as our mermaids propelled us to victory year after year. We can also boast of single-handedly spearheading the volleyball team, although in our single meet, at the final whistle, we ended up owing the other team points. But every club does have a silver lining, for we learned how to add negative numbers. <laughs> Undaunted, we tried our hand at academics, resulting in tremendous success in the Mathematics Olympiads, the Commonwealth Essay Competitions, and, most tangibly, the $10,000 won at the Blood Bank quiz. However, the essence of this graduating class manifested itself in the form of extracurricular activities. We always knew we could speak publicly. Our numerous detentions gave adequate testimony to this. But it was only under the guidance of our teachers that we succeeded in becoming articulate public speakers. The characters among us found their niche on stage in the recent drama festival and we dominated the cast as birds, frogs, 
little boys, the devil and his minions, and even as an evil feet dust. Not to say that there aren't angels among us who dance their way to the stars. The Junior Achievement Program allowed us to explore our managerial skills, where young leaders provided a healthy balance. For, though we gained no formal recognition for our hard work, the smiles of the children at the St. Mary's Children's School was an immeasurable. Our, the lunchtime rhythm section translated into a yearly successful carnival band, gifted panelists, and songsters. We realized, after all, that this spot could sing. <laughs> we would like to pay tribute to all who made possible the tremendous joys and experiences at St. Augustine Girls High School. To all the people who are often forgotten, those we hardly ever think about, but who have been an integral part of our school life. The cleaners, the security guards like Dennis, who valiantly protected us for five plus years from unsavory characters and rain. The tuck shop staff, the office and library staff, our handsome lab technicians, all the other anonymous contributors who seldom find themselves in the limelight. To our former principals, Dr. Mahiz and Mrs. Muhammad, you are our role models, and the impressions you made were etched indelibly in our minds. Thank you both for your labors of love, which served to make us so proud of St. Augustine Rural Mrs. Anderson, your task that lies ahead it's no light responsibility. <laughs> but you have learned from the best, and we are sure that you will maintain our school's superior standards. As a graduate of St. Augustine Girls High School yourself, we know that you too will blaze trails of glory that will continue to make all proud of our animator. And as an expression of our appreciation, we would like to present you with this floral arrangement on behalf of all of us. <laughs> to the dedicated members of staff who have acted in the position of vice principal over the years, namely Mrs. Raghunanan and Mrs. Lakhan. Your hard work that often went unrewarded has not gone unnoticed. Your tireless efforts behind the scenes were always greatly appreciated. To our two deans, Ms. Melchan, Mrs. Carrington, and now Mrs. Costello, and to our teachers, your contributions went far beyond the classroom routine of imparting the wealth of your knowledge to your eager students. You were mothers, Fathers, friends, confidants, listeners, counselors, and in a few extreme cases, psychiatrists. <laughs> time and time again, we tested and tried your patience. Time and time again, we never gave up, and you taught us to do the same. We thank you with all our hearts. May your struggle for better tools and conditions of service and indeed, for a better education system in our country, be fruitful. <laughs> By way of our Parent Teachers Association and its innumerable fundraising efforts, six formers are now able to enjoy the comfort of spacious new classrooms. Over the years, you have provided us with luxuries which we tend to take for granted. But now, we would like to say an emphatic thank you. Thanks also to our Alumni Association. We would also like to thank our school board, and especially our past and present chaplains, Reverend Sunarain, Reverend Gajada, and Reverend Ramkilawa. We take this opportunity to acknowledge the support you offered over the years through the thought-provoking leaderships and counseling sessions you provided. To our parents, 
Words can never begin to express our gratitude for your selflessness, your dedication, your determination, all to make successes out of your daughters, just to see them achieve greatness. And then, you're all so modest, so content to be left as beautiful faces without names. You will always be more beautiful than you could ever need to be. You sacrificed so much, too much it seems. Your own problems, your jobs, your health, your lives, always came second to your daughter's education. And now, you must give God, without whom none of us would be here today, his rightful due, because by him, through him, and for him, all things were created. Lord, we thank you for your love and strength, and to you we attribute all our successes. Our high school days are some of the most memorable of our lives. We have established strong, lasting friendships over the years that will never be forgotten, and many of which have stood the test of time. We made it past the most crucial point of our school lives, and as the pillow comes to a slow simmer, our very best flavors come out. As I conclude, I would like to share one last memory with you. When we first came to the school, Several of us saw the senior prefect badges and read senior perfect. <laughs> Although rather ridiculous back then, we now realize that the word perfect encapsulates the perfection that is indeed a hallmark of St. Augustine Lewis High School. And now, to honor that perfection, I invite you graduates to sing lustily our alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, 